Look at this guy coming and just jack my interview, yo. Yeah, both of you can get interviewed. Goons, you want to get interviewed too? All right, bet. So, Single and Goons are now going to be interviewed. Goons made a guest appearance. So, yeah. Go- <laughs> Goons, what would you say? Oh, when did you start debating and what community did you start in? The fiction or philosophy debating community? Uh, I started debating like, uh, it was like October of last year hmm. and it was in polit- in the politics server. Hmm. Who would you say has been the toughest competition you've had since you started debating? Probably Eric. Hmm. That makes sense. That's, that's consistent. Would you say that like certain debaters within the philosophy community tend to be more overrated in the fiction community than they should be. Yeah, obviously. Hmm. Have there been any fiction debaters you've seen who are better than people within the philosophy community? Um, at the very like, okay, if we if we're talking about like the very low end, like Moxie turns Monkey Boy, those type of people, compared to like the very very high, like like the highest you could possibly get. I think I saw, what was his name, Seth, Seth the Programmer. He seemed like a pretty sharp guy. I haven't seen enough of him to like mm. say that he's good, though. Um, but I would say like maybe maybe they overlap rather than... I wouldn't say either one's better. But yeah. like, yeah, if you if you take like the lowest end of the Philcom, they're going to be about the same as like the highest end of the like anime comp mm. when it comes to philosophy. So you think like overall, like um, the low end of the philcom sh- or the philosophy community should be way better than the fiction community. Yeah, by far. Yeah. Okay. Do you what do you value whenever you like are ranking debaters? Do you value mainly knowledge over all else, or do you also mm-hmm. value the ability uh, to make? Uh, I'm even musical. Thank uh, you, Plutus. You're not jacking into the interview too. I don't want no fucking interview. I mute the music bot. Oh, okay. The bot I is unmuted. Anyway, thanks. Back to your VC. Anyway, so before we yeah, really interrupt it, whatsoever. By the British guy, would you say that like certain? What was I even asking? Would you? What would you value over all else in terms of like as a debater? Would you value knowledge, argumentation? What do you value? Oh uh, yeah, prob- number one's probably going to be like reasoning skills. Mm. Reasoning skills. By reasoning, do you just mean your ability to create an argument on the spot, regardless of knowledge? Um, not not just create an argument, but you know, be able to like understand the types of flaws and categories of flaws, and have like a really good fundamental tool set so that you can approach like any argument or any type mm. of rhetoric or any type of um, like tactics that you encounter and be able to like counteract those pretty well. Okay, that makes sense. Would you say that in the philosophy community, they tend to over rely on on like knowledge instead of argumentation to actually be able uh, to be successful? That's probably true for a lot of them. Um, yeah. Well, one thing you'll notice is there's some people out there that have you know a decent amount of knowledge, but they're not very good reasoners, and so mm. when they discuss, they like app like fully rely on the other person not knowing as much as them and you'll you'll notice that a lot but yeah would you say that certain debaters for example apollo who's been famed for having loads of knowledge seem to rely on knowledge to win debates rather than argumentative skill well yes i I don't i don't think apollo like actually knows a lot of philosophy i think well he's like he's like a laughing stock when it comes to anybody that's like respected in that community um (laughs) So I, I wouldn't even say that he has knowledge. I would say he's more of like a gibberator that like confuses anime people, and then <laughs> they after after they get confused, um, they go around and telling everybody like you know they just tell all their friends that uh, he like knows a bunch of philosophy and like destroyed them or whatever. Yeah, okay, that seems to me, that seems to make sense. So you'd say that in terms of the fiction community, they overrate people who are able to just spout jargon and not know what they're yeah. talking about. By far, yeah, yeah. So, I would agree would, with that. Yeah, what would you say on like all your opinions on Cynthia and Apollo thinking they're like equals with each other? Do you think Cynthia's like leading him on? Because I know you've mentioned that before. Yeah, uh, that was confirmed like a while back. Uh, Cynthia was in like a VC, and I think we asked her something like, What do you rate Apollo on a scale of one to ten or whatever? No, or it was, uh, oh yeah, we, we asked like, on a scale of like F to S or whatever, what do you rate Apollo? 
and she always told Apollo it was like A or it was like S or whatever. Yeah. And then we asked we asked her and then she was like, Oh, he's like a B or whatever. And and she's like, Yeah, you can't tell anybody. But you know, I don't really give a I don't really care. Cause, yeah. Um, so you think like she just overrates Apollo? And if so, why do you think she like overrates him and like makes him seem better than he is? I think I cut out there, but yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's just because they're like nice to each other or whatever, and they hype each other up. Mm. Yeah, so you think that like circle jerks, where they just like overhype their friends, you think that also like is very prevalent in the philosophy community as well? It's I'd say it's less prevalent, like it's significantly less prevalent actually in the philosophy comms than it is the anime comms, but yeah. Yeah, I I get what you mean. I get what you mean. That. That's also very consistent with loads of stuff that I've seen. So, would you say that Cynthia has been your toughest debate as of recent compared to any other? Um, toughest and probably in the sense of like, I need to refine how I approach like dumb fucks that like just gibberate in the same way. Like, I would I would like change my approach to like Apollo and like T Jump or whatever. Um. Because, like, I I guess, like, my biggest weakness right now is just, like, if someone just unloads a bunch of gibberish, since I'm a good reasoner and I'm, like, a far better reasoner than most of these people, I need to actually analyze what it is that they're saying um, and then, like, clarify a bunch of things and then figure out, you know, what's the actual weakest part of the argument because I know the conclusion's false. Um, And so at least one premise is false if it's valid. Okay. That makes sense. So you'd say that people who go around and say that you lost to Cynthia because she said uh, or she like dropped loads of paragraphs on you, you'd say they're all just like mistaken. I heard Apollo, he said that you got like low death slammed. So I was confused. Uh, well, well yeah. for one, Apollo is saying that because I like bully him every time I see him. There's like a recording out there of me, me and Mason just like, uh, did, like, actually I should upload that soon. I've been wanting to upload that, but yeah, there's a video of me and Mason just bullying the hell out of him. Um, and he, he also just, like, lies about me all the time because he, he's, like, still mad that I bullied him. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I would disagree that I, like... I actually got, like, a bunch of people telling me that I, like, demolished synth rhetorically. Um, but, you know, like, given, like, the anime optics where it's, like, okay, if you just get, like, unloaded gibberish in, like, like five articles or whatever... Um, and and you don't if you don't have like a response like it, that's equally gibberish or whatever, yeah. then it just looks like you're doing worse in the conversation. I think I guess like, in that sense, yeah. yeah. I think that most people within the anime community they like start watching philosophy debates and they don't really know what's going on. So most of the time, whenever they're like relying on who they think won, they either go off of a judge who also probably doesn't know what's going on, or like consensus or who sounds better. So I don't really value most of. Their opinions as well either yeah well it's usually just like a who like a popularity contest yeah um what are your opinions of mason apparently being taught by apollo because within infinite realms they had a big argument where may uh, apollo quote unquote exposed mason for like saying what well, how long is it going to take me to be better than you apollo like how do you feel about that has mason actually been taught by apollo um yeah so this is actually and i'll actually I'll, I'll just really have to upload this but this was actually addressed in the video um or the recording of me and mason bullying him yeah which is basically what happened was like me okay so uh i guess to give the long and short of it it was like me and mason were like good friends at the time yeah and then we like found this we found apollo and we just thought he was like hilarious um, yeah. and, but like uh, over time, Mason thought he was, he knew a lot about like metaphysics or whatever. Um, at, you know, little, little did he know that he's basically just like a gibber hater. Um, uh, he didn't know that at the time though, but yeah. basically Mason was like, okay, um, how long do you think it would take me to gain the knowledge that you've gained in like, or he said, here's how he specifically phrased it. He said, how many weeks do you think it would take me to hit the same amount of knowledge that you've gained yeah. over the last like few years or whatever? Basically implying that, like, he could learn whatever you learned in, in a short amount of time, um, even though it took you a long amount of time. This is, like, implying that he's smarter or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. And then Apollo, because he's autistic, took that and, like, <laughs> fucking masqueraded. and like, <laughs> He got, like, super hyped because he thought uh, Mason was, like, complimenting him, even though it was, like, the opposite of a compliment. So that, like, I guess the long and short is just that 
Apollo is autistic and he didn't understand that. So. Oh, okay. So, because Apollo's been a fiction debater for a very long time, and he's recently, or oh, well, not very recently, but he's recently moved to within the philosophy community. When you first met him, what were your impressions of him? <laughs> he's he's like a confused dipshit. That's that was my first impression. Um, and then after that, I, well, I didn't like him at that time. And yeah. then after that, I was like, okay, he's a confused dipshit. But he's a funny dipshit. Yeah. And then I would like I would um we would VC every now and again and I'd be like, Yeah, what's what's the argument, Apollo, for God or whatever? Yeah. And he'd give me like so like it would be like Neoplatonic gibberish or whatever. Yeah. Um and I'd be like, Wow, that's a really good argument. And this is when he thought I was a Christian. And then he went and told people that he was like amping me to argue for God or whatever. Um, even though the entire time I was trolling him and I don't believe in God. Um, yeah, that that was the big move. Oh, yeah, because I remember you used to, like, go around and run the transcendental argument. Okay, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, so, um, overall, do you think that out of all of the fiction debaters you've debated, do you have any ranking or any, like, clear idea of who do you think it would be the better ones out of the one, like, those who you've spoken to? Those who I've spoken to? Um... It'd be, it'd be hard for me to, like, rank everybody that I've spoken. I've spoken to so many people on here. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, the, the sharper individuals. Well, I, just, think, um, uh -huh. I think Jacks and Forks are, like, pretty decent. Yeah. Um, but that, that might just be because I see, like, similarities in me, uh, in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you say that, like, Infinity would be part of the ones you consider to be decent? um no but i think I, I do think infinity is like a really funny guy because <laughs> infinity is apparently he's beaten both of them he's being forks and jacks so like most people consider him to be tier one or like one of the best in the debating community do you think it's just plying like blind deck riding do you, or what do you think it is that's causing them to think this uh, well i i presume he has a lot of friends like and it, it, you'll notice in any debate that he has that there's just like a lot of people that are like preemptively spamming that he's like destroying the person um but yeah i just i like i like i get like all the consensus shit is just you know popularity contest and you yeah. know obviously a lot of people fuck with infinity so i assume that's why he, that he would get consensus and judgment and shit yeah, yeah I, don't, I mean that some people just think that like he's he just has the entire community on lock because he's the best debater ever so, have you ever encountered Haiku, for example, if you know who he is? No, but I heard that person knows a lot, so... Yeah, because C was telling me that Haiku is supposed to be, at least in the philosophy community, he's, like, famed as one of the smartest people they've ever spoken to, so I wanted to know if you, like, knew anything about him, but... No, I just heard secondhand that he knows a lot yeah. of philosophy, but that... Just to be clear, that's from, like, anime people, so... Yeah. And, and anime people, like, hype up people like Apollo, which, you know, come on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he says he's the best... He's the best debater, so... You know, currently... He's currently down there. He has confidence. But, uh... Who, you're going to debate... Are you... Do you plan to debate Cynthia again? Um, yeah, I'd be, I'd be done the debate center again. Yeah, because hopefully, because every single time you guys debate, the consensus generally is either one of you won rhetorically, but there was little to no substance. So I think a, either a different topic is needed for you guys to actually be able to derive more substance out of it, if you understand what I mean. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah. So if what topics do you plan to look into more as you continue on debating? Well, right now, I just my main focus is meta ethics, but I'm definitely going to move forward with a uh, more broad. I, I think um, some views in epistemology. Uh, yeah. A lot of people with talk about infinitism a lot, so I might look into that a little bit more. But uh, as of right now, it's just mainly meta ethics. Okay, that that makes sense. Would you who would you plan to debate, and if you debated them, you think they'd be your hardest debate ever? Um, are, are we, well, I remember my answer earlier was like, who is the hardest I've encountered? And that was Eric. And if I had to debate Eric, I would say that's my hardest. That'd be my hardest opponent or at least one of them. Yeah. Would you say that you'd win if you debated Eric? Um, probably not. No. Hmm. That makes sense. Eric's like, 
supposed to be the like one of the best or the best in that community. Cause Cynthia thinks that she'd beat Eric and she thinks she'd beat me. So do you think that Cynthia and Apollo have this overconfidence problem? Wait, does Cynthia actually think she'd beat Eric? She, she think yeah, she thinks she'd beat Eric. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> she thinks it's like topic dependent, apparently. Um yeah. Well sorry, what was the question? Do you like do you think that, that Cynthia and Apollo or most fiction people who tend to like begin to debate philosophy, do you think they have a overconfidence problem when initially coming in? Um, oh yeah, well a lot of people go through that. Um you start like you everybody starts off being like max ignorance and like max confidence and then they just keep getting checked over time and then they slowly realize like what type of debater, what type of reason or what type of uh, substance they actually have and then they, you know, go from there. So yeah, probably. Okay, that seems to make sense. Well, that's it for the interview. Uh, it's been good. <laughs> <laughs> that's been good questioning you about uh, what's it, about all of your debate takes. Hopefully, I'll see you debate something or something where you you don't have to read a paragraph for like a whole two hours. And yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs>